What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Janique TV. My name is Janique, and I'd like to thank you so much for tuning back into my channel today. Before we get started, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and also click on the notification bell. That way you don't miss an episode of what I'm doing here. Today, I'm going to talk about a really sensitive topic. You know, everybody's not going to agree with my point of view on this topic, but you know, you're going to hear my opinion anyway. Today, I want to talk about what's the real reason people choose not to pursue God, right? This thing that I'm about to say, nobody's going to admit this to themselves. Like if you do admit this to yourself, this tells me that you are a humble person, but most people are in their pride, of course, right? So you know people don't really turn to God because he doesn't allow premarital sex. Like they have this idea of marriage in their head and they think that because their idea of marriage is what is more modernized today or what's more traditional today, um, they think that's the right way, but that's not really the marriage that God's that that's not really the marriage that God was talking about or referring to in the Bible. If you notice in the Bible, there are not too many, um, if any, I'm trying to think. Right now I'm getting through it, so y'all know, forgive me if I if I if I misspeak. But um y'all not reading either. I'm not even whatever, but um <laughs> There's not really um, a ceremony in the Bible where you where you hear about um, like somebody went and, and filed these papers and everything like that. Like no, they they really kind of agreed to things in the Bible, and that's how they really that's how people got married. They consummated marriage with sex, so that's what what marriage really is being signified in the Bible. It's really about sex. It's really about consummating. Jesus stopped a, a, a whore, you know, a woman, and he said she had five husbands. And he also said that the man that she's with right now was not her husband. So do you think he was referring to her going to the, to the courthouse or going to um, the church and getting married five times and now with the sixth person? Like, no, it's, it's because she was having sex with different people. So that's how you really break a, or prevent a soul tie with someone, prevent a marriage with someone, a spiritual marriage by not engaging in sexual activity with them. Because once you do do that, then you are linked forever. It's like some people have a lot of bodies, right? And, and no shame to anybody that does, but it's like, at what point do you stop and think like, something has to be lingering on me from my, my sexual partners. Like, it's not just like, I'm, I'm free and clear. I feel something on me, you know, um, People have a spirit of lust and they don't really realize they have a spirit of lust. Like, I can't imagine waking up all day and thinking about sex. Like, you manifest what you think about, right? So, those are people that's manifesting these, these, look, I don't have time. People think to follow God that you have to go to a woman, propose, ask her dad for her hand in marriage and, and have a ceremony with all your people, people who you don't even talk to, but you're going to pay anyway for them. Um, people who you you could care less if they knew you were married or but you just want to have so many people there to see you have this moment with someone else right so they think it's that and you gotta you know go to the courthouse make sure you file the documents make sure the last name is changed and all this other stuff like no 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 the real the real marriage in the Bible is sex sex is the real marriage you are bonded in spirit you never hear about Adam and Eve having a ceremony, right? And that's where it all began. You know, they, they populated the earth. They populated the earth. So I think we have to really switch our mindsets when it comes to thinking about the type of things that God requires of you, right? God doesn't call perfect people, right? Perfect people are not called. He calls the sinners. He calls people who have been through it, who have um, decided to turn their life around and turn away from everything they were doing before and, and come to him. He gives everyone a choice. So he's not oblivious of course to what's going on in the modern day world right because there's a book of revelations that tells us about things that are happening in today's time so god knew everything that was going to happen right anything that's in the bible is intentional because god knew it would happen god knew he foresaw this these events happening that's why he said thou should not murder thou should not kill thou should thou should not steal you know love your neighbor as you love yourself you know um he don't don't be adulterous you know don't don't engage in adultery don't cheat you know what i'm saying like don't don't sleep with a married man he knew people would be doing these things that's why he wrote about them in the first place right so i challenge you think about what god is really requiring of you to switch over to him a lot of people think they have to give up so many things and, and you do have to give up a lot of things right but it's not about giving them up for good it's about refraining from it right and taking a different path to get to what you want you can have all the sex you want. Nobody's saying you can't, but 
let's put a marriage in place first. Let's put a spiritual union in place first with you and that other person, right? It doesn't have to come to the physical realm just yet, but as long as y'all commit to each other, you know what I'm saying? Y'all decide that y'all are not going to be dating anyone else. Y'all going to be exclusive. You know, people, people refuse to commit to one person. I hate that about our generation. Like, commit. Just commit to a person. See how much further it'll take you. Everybody who commits to something, they see the fruit, the fruits of their labor. That's why people who who are famous and people who are rich and stuff, they tell you like you have to be consistent, you have to keep going, you have to keep going because that's the only way that you can get to the result that you really want. You do it a couple times and you're not gonna get what you want all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to try over and over again. So commit to one person. If that doesn't work out for you, it's okay to go to another one. You don't have to exchange sexual spirits with everyone. You know, because these people are sleeping with demons. Literally, people say they on demon time. People say if she ain't on her demon time, they not they not messing with her. Like demon, demon, demon. I can't imagine sitting right there calling myself one of those. I'm like, why do you want to say you're on demon time? I I never. That's weird. I, it's it's a weird flex, but okay. I don't like I don't like when people say that. So for me, it's like you don't know who people are sleeping with, what kind of demons they're fighting, what kind of things they're engaged in, and you are literally as a woman, right? Somebody's literally inside of me. You get what I'm saying? Like we're literally in, like you're inside of me. So come on, like no, 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 no. no. You have to be more more cautious about who you share that spirit with, your, your your sexual spirit with that 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 part of you with, you know, and give it to the right people. Give it to the right people. But God is not saying that you, when you come to him, like you can't have sex ever again. That's not what he's saying. He's saying you need to do it the right way. You need to commit to somebody. You need to have a have a title in that joint. And not just a title, but have a spiritual union behind it. Because as long as you both are chasing God, you're going to treat each other right. You're going to do right by each other because you're chasing God. You're going to do whatever pleases God. And to, to cheat on another person, to manipulate another person, to gaslight them, you know, to... to cause emotional distress to another person to emotionally um abuse physically abuse um mentally abuse another person then that's telling me that you're not following god you're following your own selfish intent because god would never he would never want you to do that to anybody so i hope you got something from my message today think about you know why you're choosing not to follow your lord and savior jesus christ and realize like whatever that you think is worth not following him is not it's not. You will call his name before you leave the earth. So why not now than later? Right? Food for thought. So my name is Janique. Janique TV. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.